welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. This week is a little bit different. It is actually a collab with Amanda over at Hot Mess Mom. If you haven't checked out her channel, it'll be linked up in the cards and down below. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love watching her videos every week. She does what's for dinners along with grocery hauls, meal plans, um, what her what she packs her kids for lunch, what she packs her husbands for lunch. Husbands? No, she only has one. But she packs her husband for lunch. Um, and just other fun videos. So if you haven't checked her out before, please check her out. Yeah, let's get into this week's What's for Dinner. For Friday, I'm showing you how I made this bacon cream cheese cheddar chicken. First, I sprayed my pan with cooking spray. Then, I laid my chicken breast in the pan. I used two breasts cut horizontally. Next, I seasoned them with salt and pepper. Then I topped them with cream cheese. I used about half a block of cream cheese. Then I crumbled some bacon on top. Finally, I added cheddar cheese and I baked it at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. While that cooked, I made some green beans. I don't measure the seasonings that I put in there, but I used chicken bouillon, 21 seasoning salute, pepper, and a little bit of butter. How's the chicken? Good. Good? You like it? Mm-hmm. So, this is our dinner. You saw me make the chicken. It's called creamy bacon cheddar chicken, and I loosely followed a recipe on Pinterest, so I will follow. I will link that down below. I don't think I used quite as much cream cheese or as much bacon, but I think it still turned out good. I tried it, and I think it's delicious as well. We'll see if this guy will eat it. He'll probably just pick the bacon out. But with that, I am having a salad with some cucumbers, ranch, tomatoes, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Lily and Elijah both have green beans, which you saw me make, some grapes, some cherry tomatoes, and some cucumbers, and Elijah's got salad and some cucumbers and tomatoes. But yeah, that is what's for dinner for Friday. Hey guys, it is Saturday, and tonight for dinner we are trying this new thing that I found on Pinterest. It's called honey mustard salmon, no, it's called rainbow honey mustard salmon. There's supposed to be like some purple onion on here too, but... I don't really eat onions like that, neither does Andy, so I just omitted those. Then I made a sauce for the salmon that was honey, Dijon mustard, olive oil, um, I think some salt and pepper, and some garlic, I think that was it. And then we've got some tomatoes that have olive oil, salt and pepper, and garlic. Same with the broccoli and the yellow squash. And then because my family is picky, I have green beans the way I always make them and then this is a rice um, this herb and butter one so that is our dinner oh and I forgot the sauce did have lemon in it and I'm gonna cut this up and serve it with some more lemon wedges to squeeze on top for Sunday I made spaghetti in my haul where I showed my spaghetti squash, someone asked to show how I make it. This was my first time, but it was really, really good. I started by cutting it in half, and then I removed the seeds, covered it in olive oil, salt, and pepper, and cooked it on 400 degrees for an hour face down.
After it was done, I used a fork to fluff the inside of it. And here is my plate with the spaghetti squash. And then we've got spaghetti sauce that I made with just some sausage and traditional spaghetti sauce. And then I made a little bit of garlic toast. It's just homemade bread that I put some butter on and some garlic and some Italian seasoning. And then the kids, instead of the squash, just have regular spaghetti noodles and the toast. And that is what's for dinner for Sunday. And this, I tried the spaghetti squash, not with the sauce yet, but it is very, very good. So I definitely recommend it. Hey guys, it is Monday and tonight for dinner we are having leftovers. I had about half of the spaghetti squash left over. So I just put that in a bowl. Yeah. And then I put a little bit of butter on it and some salt and pepper and garlic powder. I heated that up and then I added in some shredded Parmesan. And then I think I'm gonna heat up some of this chicken, the olive oil and rosemary. I think that would be good in it. And that is going to be my dinner. And then the kids are sharing the leftover spaghetti from last night, just the noodles and sauce. And then we actually have some leftover salmon from the other night that Andy is going to eat with the leftover rice. And that is our leftover dinner for Monday. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and tonight for dinner we are having taco pizza. I had never tried to make this before, but Andy suggested it and I looked up a re couple recipes and just kind of winged it tonight. Um, I will be showing y'all how I made this and how I put it together. But here's mine. I've got lettuce and tomato on mine on top, but the kids won't eat it with lettuce and tomato on top. So theirs is just meat and the cheese and the like bean sauce. And then for dessert tonight, while the pizza was in the oven, I made Rice Krispies. And the crust I used for this pizza is one that I always use. I got it from Kristen Step. I will leave a link to the Pinterest recipe down below. Make stromboli with it, everything. It is the best pizza crust I've ever made. Yeah, that is what's for dinner for Tuesday. To make the sauce for the taco pizza, I heated up one can of refried beans and some Ortega taco sauce till it looked like it was a good consistency. Next, I rolled out my pizza dough. Excuse the dirty pan, I had already made one pizza. And then I spread the sauce on top with cheese and taco meat and bake it at 500 degrees for 10 minutes. When it came out of the oven, I topped it with shredded lettuce and tomato. This turned out really good and everyone loved it. Here I'm making the bread everyone loved for my last what's for dinner video. I'll leave the exact recipe that I used down below. I love this recipe because it comes together super quick.
Now to go with that bread for dinner, I am making the sausage tortellini soup. To the pan, I've added one pound of sausage with garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and pepper. And then I cook that until it's browned and I drain the grease. Then I add more seasoning. I add about one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, about a half a tablespoon of chives, and six teaspoons of chicken bouillon. If you use chicken broth instead of water, you don't need the bouillon, but I use six cups of water. So after the seasonings, I mix it all together and then add six cups of water and one can of evaporated milk. I also add in pepper. I think I forgot that, but I do add in pepper. And then you want to bring that to a boil and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Finally, you add the tortellini and cook until tender about three to four minutes. And here is how the bread looked when it was done. And here it is done. And I sprinkled some fresh grated Parmesan cheese on top. And it is super delicious, especially with this crusty bread that I also showed you how to make. And I just like to dip my bread in there. I especially like to save my bread for the end when there's just soup left in my bowl and dip it in that. That is the delicious best ever sausage tortellini soup. Hey guys, it is Thursday, the last night of what's for dinner for the week. And we are just having that leftover soup from last night and the bread. Lots of bread and soup left. So that is our dinner. And don't forget to check out Amanda's videos. This was a collab with her. Her link will be in the description box down below and up in the cards. She does what's for dinner videos every week as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.